the Gnostic Gospel of Truth by Valentinus of Alexandria, today on Spiritual Awakening Radio. This is from the Dream Sequence section of the Gospel of Truth, waking from the dreams and nightmares of humanity, the human condition, going from slumber to spiritual awakening. Either they are fleeing somewhere, or they lack strength to escape when pursued. They are involved in inflicting blows, or they themselves receive bruises. They are falling from high places, or they fly through the air with no wings at all. Other times, it is as if certain people were trying to kill them, even though there was no one pursuing them or they themselves are killing those beside them, and they are stained by their blood. Until the moment when they who are passing through all of these dreams, I mean they who have experienced all these confusions, awaken. They see nothing because the dreams were nothing. It is thus that they who cast ignorance from them like sleep do not consider it to be anything nor regard its properties to be something real. But they renounce them like a dream in the night, and they consider knowledge of the Father to be the beginning of dawn. It is thus that each one has acted as if asleep during a time of ignorance, and thus a person comes to understand as if awakening, and happy is the one who comes to himself and awakens. Ignorance of the Father brought about terror and fear, and terror became dense like fog, so no one was able to see. Because of this, error became strong. But she worked on her material substance vainly, because she did not know the truth. She assumed a fashioned figure while she was preparing, in thought and in beauty the substitute for truth. This then was not a humiliation for the illimitable, inconceivable one, for they were as nothing, this terror and this forgetfulness and this figure of falsehood, whereas established truth is unchanging, unperturbed and completely beautiful. Forgetfulness did not exist with the Father, although it existed because of him. What exists in him is knowledge which was revealed so that forgetfulness might be destroyed and that they might know the Father. Since forgetfulness existed because they did not know the Father, if they then come to know the Father, from that moment on, forgetfulness will cease to exist. This gospel of truth is joy for those who have received from the Father of truth the grace of knowing him by the power of the word, who has come from the pleroma, the fullness, and he who is in the thought and mind of the Father. This is the one who is called the Redeemer, since that is the name of the work he must do for the redemption of those who have not known the Father. For the name of the gospel is the revelation of hope, since that is the discovery of those who seek him, because the realm of all sought him from whom it came. You see, all was inside of him, that illimitable, inconceivable one, who is better than every thought. Awakening those in slumber, sharing the wisdom that rescues souls, Speak, therefore, from your hearts, so you are this perfect day, and within you dwells this abiding light. Speak of the truth with those who seek it, and of acquaintanceship unto those who in confusion have transgressed. Support those who stumble, reach out your hand to those who are sick, feed those who are hungry, give repose to the weary, Uplift those who yearn to arise. Awaken those who sleep, for you are the wisdom that rescues. 
Happy is the one who has opened the eyes of the blind. Speak the truth with those who search for it. Make firm the foot of those who have stumbled, and stretch out your hands to those who are ill. Feed the hungry, give repose to those who are weary. Raise up those who wish to rise, and awaken those who sleep. The Pearl of the Soul When the pearl is cast down into the mud, it becomes greatly despised. Nor if it is anointed with balsam oil will it become more precious. But it always has value in the eyes of its owner. Compare the children of God, wherever they may be, they still have value in the eyes of their Father. May the grace beyond time and space that was before the beginning of the universe fill our inner being and increase within us the semblance of itself as the grain of a mustard seed. Says Valentinus of Alexandria, when the Father who alone is good visits the heart, he makes it holy and fills it with light. And so, a person who has such a heart is called blessed, for that person will see God. Say then from the heart that you are the perfect day, and in you dwells the light that does not fail. Alexandria is the place where the Gospel of Truth was composed by Valentinus. Before our more readings, an introduction about this text. Valentinus lived from 100 to 160 AD. He was born in Egypt, grew up in a coastal town, was educated in the city of Alexandria, one of the great centers of Christianity and philosophy during those days. Valentinus may have encountered some Gnostic teachers, and he learned about philosophy and Platonism, as well as the teachings of the Jewish mystic Philo of Alexandria. According to Clement of Alexandria, an early church father, and the followers of Valentinus, a group known as the Valentinian Gnostics, followers of Valentinus, Valentinus eventually became a follower, a disciple, and even spiritual successor of an Egyptian apostle and spiritual teacher by the name of Theudas. Theudas was said to have been a disciple of the Apostle Paul. Valentinus was initiated by Theudas. Theudas was a teacher and initiated Valentinus into the wisdom or esoteric teachings that Paul taught privately to his inner circle of followers. During the second century, Alexandrian Christianity and other centers also, including Rome, had a kind of two-tiered approach with teachings and gospels for the masses, for new converts, and more advanced teachings and writings for those initiated into the mysteries of the kingdom of the heavens. The writings of Valentinus that have survived the centuries include the great magnum opus and lengthy composition, The Gospel of Truth, authored during the second century, a wisdom gospel that has been described by the scholar Bentley Layton as, quote, the first known sermon on Christian mysticism, unquote. The Gospel of Truth is one of the Gnostic Gospels of the New Testament Apocrypha, part of the Nag Hammadi Library Discovery, a collection of Coptic language codices, including what became known as the Young Codex, for a while in possession of the Young Institute, as in Carl Jung, the Nag Hammadi Library is a collection of early Christian and Gnostic texts and Jewish Gnostic texts discovered near the upper Egyptian town of Nag Hammadi back in the month of December 1945. Thirteen leather-bound papyrus codices buried in a sealed jar were found by a local farmer by the name of Muhammad Ali 
El Salman. I've seen videos of him, in fact. The writings of these codices comprise 52 treatises, but they also include three works belonging to the Corpus Hermeticum and a partial translation of Plato's Republic. In his introduction to the Nag Hammadi Library in English, James Robinson suggests that these codices may have belonged in the 4th century to a nearby Pacomian monastery founded by St. Pacomius and were buried after Athanasius's condemnation of the use of non-canonical books in his Easter festal letter dated at 367 AD. The discovery of these texts significantly influenced modern scholarship's pursuit and knowledge of early Christianity and Gnosticism." Unquote. Other than the Gospel of Truth, a small collection of various additional fragmentary writings by Valentinus have been collected by the scholar Bentley Layton. These are seven fragments, Adam's Faculty of Speech, Two Letters, Annihilation of the Realm of Death, Images and Names from the Sermon on Friends, Valentinus's Vision of the Word, including a beautiful psalm called Summer Harvest. All of these writings can be accessed for free online, including the Gospel of Truth. Be listening for my email address at the end of this Spiritual Awakening Radio podcast today. I'll be happy to share links with you how to access all of these writings by Valentinus. Back to the Gospel of Truth by Valentinus of Alexandria, one of the Gnostic Gospels of Egypt. The word or voice that leads to awakening and the ascension of the soul. In the spirit I see all suspended. In the spirit I know everything held. The flesh hanging from the soul. The soul held aloft by the air. The air suspended from the ether. Fruits manifest themselves out of the depth. The child emerges from the womb. I saw a newborn child and questioned it to find out who it was. And the child answered me saying, I am the Word. The name of the Father is the Son. It is He who in the beginning gave a name to Him who came from Him while he remained the same, and he conceived him as a son. He gave him his name which belonged to him, he the Father who possesses everything that exists around him. He possesses the name, he has the Son. It is possible for the Son to be seen. The name, however, is invisible, for it alone is the mystery of the invisible, about to come to the ears, completely filled with it through the Father's agency. Moreover, as for the Father, his name is not pronounced, but is revealed through a son. Thus then, the name is great. Whoever has knowledge is from above. If called, that person hears replies, turns to the one who is calling, and goes up to him. He knows how he is called. That person has knowledge and does the will of him who called that person, and he wishes to please him, and finds rest, and has the appropriate name. Those who have knowledge in this way know where they come from and where they are going. They know as one who, having become intoxicated, has turned from his drunkenness, and having come to his senses, has gotten control of himself. 
June Singer's commentary on this passage found in a Gnostic Book of Hours. As long as we sleep the sleep of oblivion, we will not likely hear when we are called, a sleep we cannot know whether or not we are destined for gnosis. Awake we may hear ourselves called to attention by the voice that reminds us no place is empty of me. Commentary on this passage in the Gospel of Truth by Valentinus found in a Gnostic Book of Hours, Keys to Inner Wisdom. The word of the Father appears. As for the word, his wisdom meditates on it. His teachings utter it. His knowledge has revealed it. His patience has a crown upon it. His joy is in harmony with it. His glory has exalted it. His character has revealed it. His rest has received it. His love has incarnated it. His faith has embraced it. Thus the Father's word goes out in the realm of all as the fruition of his heart and expression of his will. It supports all and chooses all. It also takes the expression of all and purifies it, bringing it back to the Father, to the Mother. This is Jesus of infinite sweetness. The Father opens his bosom, and his bosom is the Holy Spirit. He reveals his hidden self, and his hidden self is his Son, so that through the Father's compassion, the eternal realms may know him, end their wearying search for the Father and rest in him, knowing that he is rest. For he has filled what was deficient and has done away with its appearance. The mere appearance of what was deficient is the world, and mere appearance serves in the world. For where there is envy and strife, there is deficiency. But where there is unity, there is completeness. Since deficiency came about because the Father was not known, from the moment that the Father is known, deficiency will cease to be. As one's ignorance about another vanishes when one gains knowledge, and as darkness departs when light comes, so also deficiency disappears in completeness. You're hearing Spiritual Awakening Radio. My name is James Bean. Today's program has been dedicated to the Gnostic Gospel of Truth by Valentinus of Alexandria, one of the many books of the Nag Hammadi Library of Egypt, discovered during the month of December 1945. At the time of this recording, it's Banned Books Week. So what a great way to celebrate and commemorate Banned Books Week by sharing with you one of those banned books of the ages, The Gospel of Truth, by Valentinus. To receive links to The Gospel of Truth by Valentinus and the other remaining works, the fragmentary works and mystic poetry of Valentinus, send me an email at this address, james at spiritualawakeningradio.com james at spiritualawakeningradio.com You can also send me a text message if you'd rather send a text. The number is 508-603-9381. Thanks to all of those who in the past have donated, have supported Spiritual Awakening Radio, and to those who continue to support this very rare, unusual podcast exploring the path of the masters and the great spiritual classics of the ages, including the Gospel of Truth by Valentinus. (laughs) ¶¶ 